Good afternoon from a warm and windy Lily Stadium for the culmination of the New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 competition. And what a tasty encounter we've got lined up in the season decider. Yes, it's a replay of the 2013 Grand Final between St George FC and the Mounties Wanderers. Who finished sixth and second on the ladder. And with so much recent history between them, you couldn't have written the script any better. At the start of the season, Mounties manager Terry Palapanis was coaching St George. But after some differences with the board, he moved over to the, to the Wanderers after seven rounds, along with some key players. And here they are facing their old club on grand final day. Yes, it's some storyline, a narrative that whets the appetite, and we're delighted to have your company on the NPL New South Wales Facebook page and Football New South Wales YouTube. Tony Tanus here to take you along for the ride. It's been some final series. As I mentioned, St George finishing second at the end of the regular season, and the Mounties Wanderers coming from sixth place, the final spot in the finals, all the way through to the grand final. They bring some terrific form here. A confidence flowing on the back of five wins. And St George. Second they finished this season. The new coach Wally Savor has come in. And he names this lineup to take you through the action today. In goals, it's number one, Anthony Costa, the back four of Alex Kiriaku, Tariq Erkin, the captain, Lennox Twenaboa, Ali Nazradin, the midfield, Pat O'Shea and Chan He Jong. Up front, Anthony Morabito, Hus Akil, Jordan Morfitas, and the number nine, the striker, Jason Ramiro. And for the Mounties Wanderers, the big news for them is that they've called in injury replacement goalkeeper Luke Careys for the injured Dion Shaw. So the full lineup for the Mounties Wanderers is Leon Careys, Anthony Schmidt, Dominic Brischetto, Tom Mich, Jake Ingle, Raul Benay Romero, Andre Sharoda, Mitchell Davidson, Bruno Pivato, Ty Smith, and Noah Chianese. So the big news for Mounties, Luke Carey's in goals, spent the season at the Wollongong Wolves as the reserve goalkeeper there. Coming in as an injury replacement for Dion Shaw, who tore a quadricep last week. The other big news is that Juan Carlos Romero has failed a fitness test in the build-up to this game, also with a torn quadricep. So the Mounties will be without their influential front player. Our officials for today, Chris Griffiths-Jones, about to get proceedings underway. It is St George in the all-red strip running from right to left. The Wanderers do kick us off in the away black and yellow strip, and it is Romero with the first touch out of midfield. Back to Ingle. And now forward by Mitch. Down by Tariq Erkin. And now it's out on that right-hand side. Morabito driving forward. Good incisive run. Morabito trying to get the cross in. And then Ingle doing enough just to force that cross errant. What a game this promises to be, as we said in the build-up. So much recent history between these two. Mentioned Raul Benet Romero in that midfield for the Mounties Wanderers, one of four players that did come across with Terry Palapanis from St. George to the Mounties Wanderers. That was after round seven. So a very unique scenario here where you've got the coach and a number of players on the pitch here at the start of the season for their opponents. 
Sets up an enticing clash. St. George driving through the midfield. Now it's Hussein Akil, the experienced central midfielder. Play on's the call there from Griffiths Jones, but eventually he blows the whistle. And what a battle that will be in the midfield. Got the ball playing central midfielders of the Mounties Wanderers. Raul Benet Romero alongside Andre Schroeder in that holding role, along with Bruno Pivato in the number 10 role. Their battle against the likes of Pat O'Shea, Hussein Akil, and also Chen He Jong. Certainly whets the appetite. Here's Andre Schmidt playing it forward, looking for Romero. Here he is, great feet from him to keep that ball. Player with huge wraps, he's impressed everyone in the National Premier League to the Spanish import. Mounties Wanderers getting it forward down the right-hand side, Noah Chianese. But Twinaboa there, in strongly, the central defender. And now the ball forward, looking to expose Ingle. Morabito's the target there on that right-hand side. What a battle that'll be. Ingle gets it forward. Held up by Smith and now forward to Chianese. Good battle with Erkin. Play on's the call. In fact, the referee has blown his whistle. Terrific tempo early on here on the, in the grand final. New South Wales National Premier League men's two competition. St. George with an early set piece here. Looking dangerous on the attack, particularly down that right-hand side. Experienced Anthony Morabito. St. George's third top scorer this season. Ball comes forward from Twinapoa, and O'Shea was a target there, but the flag's gone up on that far side. Assistant referee on that far side, Nick Bacco. On the near side, it is June Park. And the fourth official, Tim Danaskos. An early touch here for Carey's. Only came in, had two training sessions. Miic gets himself out of a tight press there from St. George. And now Bivato with a bit of space, trying to play Chianese in. Press comes from Mounties, forcing Ali Nazruddin. To play long there. Beautifully set up here. Two ball playing sides. Lots of speed in the front third. Davidson's a target here. Gets the flick on. What a battle that'll be. Certainly tactically speaking to the Mounties Wanderers coach Terry Palapanis in the build up to the game that is one area they may look to exploit the height advantage of Davidson over Ali Nasruddin so Davidson on the right side of the attack for Mounties and Nasruddin on the left side of defence for St George clearance comes there from Brichetto Jason Ramiro wanted to go quick there. Happy to wait for his teammates to catch up here. Mentioned it's been a warm, windy day here at Lilies, Western Sydney. Summer's on the horizon. We had a warm start to the season way back on March the 4th. And here we are. The attempt there, not a bad effort. Long range. Jordan Morfidis on this left-hand side. Press comes on Carey's here. And now falls in midfielder. O'Shea trying to combine. And now a bit of space for Sharoda. Sharoda with some chance to counter an attack. And now he's found Romero. Danger here. Romero out to the left-hand side. Ty Smith going one-on-one -on -one here. Back inside. Romero trying his luck. Same effort in the end. Certainly a player to keep an eye out on. Playing in that eight role. Look for him to get forward and support Bruno Pivato. Press coming here from Chianese on Twinaboa.
Lots of talk about Raul Bene Romero, as I mentioned. Player with rumours circulating around potential move up into the New South Wales NPL top flight. Certainly been very impressive in the New South Wales National Premier League 2 this season. As I mentioned, came across from Spain and started at St George. Certainly in the last few weeks as the Mounties have been playing grand final after grand final. Really needed to win their last three games heading into the towards the end of the season to even make it into the finals. Here's the cross coming from the right hand side. Jake Ingle shuts it down. Early outlet at the moment. Morabito on the right hand side for St George. Looking for those switches of play. It's an early set piece here for St. George. Sending the likes of O'Shea forward. Bit of push and shove in the middle. Lots of bodies around. Luke Carey's trying to put a bit of pressure on him. The in-swinger. Twenaboa to the back post. There's R Romero. And now a chance. In the end, John couldn't keep that one down. See the plans there of Wally Savo, ex Socceroo, former Sydney United player in the, new, in the National Prem, uh, Soccer League. Putting a lot of pressure on Luke Carey's injury replacement, as we said, for Dion Shaw. And the high press there, giving away a foul. Both teams looking for that early press. You know, very interesting to see if they can sustain that in this weather. As we mentioned, warm conditions here in Western Sydney today. Temperatures in the early 30s. Summer's come early. This one's promising to be a hot contest. Very healthy crowd built up here at Lily's. We saw some earlier action in the under-18s. It was a penalty shootout. Central Coast Mariners Academy winning that against the West Sydney Wanderers 7-6 on penalties after it finished nil all after extra time. And we've just seen in the under-20s the West Sydney Wanderers defeating Hills United by four goals to one. Slight delay in kickoff here, but we're underway. Nine minutes in, still nil all. If you've just joined us, Tony Tanous here. Live stream of the New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 Grand Final. St George on the front foot here. Certainly like to push their fullbacks forward. Nazruddin on the left. Now he's combined with ha Akil. Has Akil taking the shot. Good bit of work against Sharota there. Wanting the corner. Referee on the spot though. Good battle that'll be. The strength and experience of Hussain Akil. Saw last week Sydney Olympic completing the double in the men's one competition. Hass Akil was part of that side back in 2011 that completed the double. So play with lots of grand final experience. Also won the Waratah Cup final with Bankstown City. And here he is demanding the ball and now getting it and facing forward. Akil! Not a bad effort there. Couldn't quite keep it down. But finding that pocket of space. Fed there by Jiong. Ten goals for the season for Akil. Certainly a key player here. Along with Jason Romero for St. George. Jason Romero coming across during that transfer window. An import. Spent some time in the college system in the United States. It's been a terrific acquisition for St. George in the run into the finals. Here he is making the penetrating run forward. Ramiro. 
Faced by Bruschetto. Ducks inside and now Ramiro to the back post. Attacking it there. Now it falls to Jiong. Chance to get the shot on. Again it's on here for Morabito. Block comes. St. George on the front foot early. Can the Mounties relieve some pressure here? Falls to Akil. Couldn't quite get that under control. Good start from St. George. Ramiro's movement, Akil finding a bit of space. And Morapito on the right, certainly causing some issues early on. Speaking to Wally Savor in the build-up, they certainly feel they can get at this Mounties defence. So it's attack, that's the name of the game for St. George. Feel if they can expose anything, it is that back four of the Mounties Wanderers. Has been an issue throughout the season. But certainly in the last five games, they've really got their act together defensively. They had the 10th best defensive record in the competition, so it wasn't great heading into the finals. Here's a chance, though, at the other end, Davidson with a snapshot. Again, couldn't quite keep that one down, but Mitchell Davidson coming in from the right-hand side. We've seen chances at both ends. Expecting a tight contest here, but goals in it. St. George has certainly been among the goals throughout the season. The best attack in the competition. 73 for the year. In the last 14 games, they've scored two or more goals, St. George. So you can see what their strength is. Defence has been fairly strong as well. Fourth best defence in the competition. Just in the last few weeks, they've been involved in some shootouts. A lot of high-scoring games. He's Mitch picking up the ball in midfield and now trying to play Chianese in. The flag's gone up. Chianese, the speed there. Name familiar to those of you who follow the A-League. Younger brother of Joel. Certainly spent some time at the Marconi youth system. He's come across to the Mounties Wanderers to try and get a bit of first-team action. A lot of injuries in the Mounties squad, and so he gets a start today. Probably expected to start off the bench, but as I mentioned, Juan Carlos Romero failing a fitness test on his quad ahead of the game. And now it's a chance for St. George. Morabito against the target. Morfidis going across to try and double up. Now Pivato pressed by Jiong. Akil trying to bring it down. As Shea with the block this time from Pivato. And now Nazradin. St. George trying to settle it here. Good start to this match. Both teams looking to play. Out on the right-hand side again. Romero. Cut out by the experience. Tom Mich. Sharoda pressed. And now Bruschetto gets it forward. Down on the right-hand side through Davidson. A player who likes to tuck inside. That allows Schmidt to get forward. Here's Anthony Schmidt getting forward. There's Redeen. Does enough there. Now Tariq Erkin with the clearance. The skipper for St. George. Playing in his first grand final. It's been a real stalwart for this club over the last few years. Taking on the captain's armband. Mijic forward. Davidson attempts to flick on. Now the error comes from Bruschetto, and Jason Romero comes forward. Chance now to shoot. Bruschetto recovers, does just enough there. Disappointed with his first contribution, but a great recovery from the youngster. Player who hails from the Blue Mountains. Coming to the Mounties Wanderers, starting 11 in the second half of the year. And the Terry Palapanis made the initial error, looked like 
Jason Romero is away. The recovery came from Bichetto, but it is another corner here. Erkin's gone forward. Again, there's a crowd around Kerry's. Goes to the back post again. This time, the breeze, the wind not helping St. George. Taking that over the byline. He's very blustery here at Lilly's. And it is behind St. George, that wind. So taking advantage of it early. They're the ones on the front foot. Inch in their form hasn't been as good in the weeks heading into the finals. No wins in the last four games for St. George. Three two all draws. So they've certainly been scoring goals, but they have been conceding as well. Romero gets it down to Smith. Now he's got a chance to combine with Pivato. Chianese. Now Pivato again. He's got Ingle to the left. That's where he goes. Good ball in behind. Ingle's inside. Coming across there to cut it out. Decisive work though from the Mounties. Pivato. One of those players who did come across with Palapanis from St. George. Playing in that number 10 role. He'll go across to take this set piece. Mounties lining their players up on the edge of the 18-yard box. They go short. Romero's on the ball. Now he combines with Pivato. Back to Sharota. The three central midfielders combining. Sharota with an excellent strike. And there was Anthony Costa flying to his right with a great early save. Excellent bit of combination from those three central ball playing midfielders. Pivato, Raul Romero, and then Sharota with the strike. Pivato again. Goes near post this time. Good variation. St. George do enough to clear. What a start to this match if you've just joined us. Into the 19th minute here at Lilly. Still nil all. Both teams with some good early. Built ups. Couple of opportunities. Mitch. Gets it forward to Chineze. Working back was Jiong. Now driving out of midfield. It's Pat O'Shea. Sprays it out to the right hand side now. Morabito's had a really incisive start to this match. What a battle against Ingle. Romero working back, under pressure here, stays calm. Ty Smith does well uh, for Mounties. St. George pick it up high and they give it away. Davidson now. Schmidt's available down the right. They go back all the way to Carey's. St. George's press there, forcing him long. Mentioned that winning run of the Mounties, five wins in a row. They needed three wins to make it into that top six. What a battle it was. Five or six teams really battling for those last two spots in the NPL2 competition. They managed to sneak into the finals. Haven't they done some damage so far? Beating the competition premiers, Mount Druitt Town Rangers, last week with a masterclass. Tactically, a real ambush job here at Lilly's. Terrific performance from the Mounties Wanderers. But early on, they have been set back here. St. George on the front foot. Tweener Boa again on the left foot. Inside, looking to the back post. Again, the wind not really helping. St. George just carrying that over the box. Not quite accurate so far with their set-piece delivery. You can see the contrasting styles of the two sides. 
St. George really putting some pressure on the keeper, Carries. He's the understudy to Justin Passfield at the Wollongong Wolves because of that injury last week. Torn quadricep here to Dion Shaw. Carries was approved as an injury replacement. Might have some work to do here. Flag's gone up though. Looked like St. George were in down that right hand side. Hasakil. Nick Bako. Flag going up. Looking dangerous there in transition. St. George. Mentioned that win last week to the Mounties Wanderers. A 2 1 win over the Mount Druitt Town Rangers. Here they are trying to get their first today. Andre Anthony Schmidt coming forward. And now Nazreddin finds Morfitas, a player. Some of you familiar with the A League Academy system, spent some time at the West Sydney Wanderers Academy. Play with so much promise. Loves to dribble, attacking player. Another one with plenty of rumours circulating around a potential move up into the men's top flight. Keep an eye out on him. He's Mounties trying to flick it forward to Chianese. Twinaboa does well. Foul in the end comes from Chianese. See the combinations that Mounties are trying to build in front of that St. George defence. Looking for that ball in behind. Pivato involved heavily in that build up around the edge of the box. Ty Smith as well. Ty Smith is the leading scorer for Mounties Wanderers. Ostensibly a number nine. Usually plays in that number nine role. But at the moment it's Nazruddin coming forward. Certainly likes to Venture down the left hand side. We expect him to commit forward down the right hand side a little bit more than Kiriaku down the right for St. George. Erkins come forward for this one. O'Shea on the edge of the box. Erkin, one of the targets here. Morfides is going to get another opportunity. It goes short this time. Another variation. Morfides the combination. Coming out, Sharoda. He stayed down. Play on. Referee not prepared to risk it. Sharoda copping one in the face here. Looks like he's okay. No risk taken there with the ball. Hitting the head, but we'll still get the medical attention here. Just make sure central midfield is okay. A player who has spent some time in the top flight, both Parramatta Melita and also Sydney United. But he really dropped down to NPL 2 just to look for a little bit more game time. Sharoda. He's been at Mounties. Been playing in the number 10 role, but Terry Palapanis, spoilt for choice in that midfield. Basically got three number 10s in Sharoda, Raul Benet, Romero and Pivato. So Sharoda having to play in that deeper role. Like he's wiping a bit of blood away from that lip. Chris Griffiths Jones just making sure he's good to carry on. Just past the midway point of the first half if you've just joined us. Remains nil nil here in the New South Wales National Premier League men's two grand final. One of the great historic clubs in Australian football, St. George FC. Formed back in 1957 by Hungarian immigrants. Great history in the National Soccer League. Of course, one of the legends of Australian football, Johnny Warren, spent so much time at St. George.
Great to see them back on the big occasion on grand final day. Trying to force the play here. They're on the front foot so far in the first half. Yeah, the Mounties have certainly had their moments though. Here's Bruschetto. Looking for Chinese. Now Gion gets it out to Morabito. Battle continues. Ingle wins out this time. And now Romero driving forward. Lovely on the dribble. Here he is. Gives it away. You re rarely see that one. Disappointed with himself there. Did so well to shake off the first player. Mitch. Kerry's under pressure here. Has to hurry up. Certainly something that St. George are trying to do as soon as it gets to Kerry's at his feet. Jason Romero, that player I mentioned, spent some time in the college system, came across UCLA College. What a story it was. They lost a couple of Romeros in Juan Carlos and Raul Benay Romero. When Palapanis moved across, they ended up replacing them with another Romero. Here he is, Jason, getting it out to O'Shea. Does well to keep it going now, Kiriaku. Driving forward down the right-hand side. St. George happy to build up here. Moving the ball quick. Now more Fetus gets it out to Romero. Nazruddin makes the overlapping run. Here he is, Ali Nazruddin. The cross comes in. Who does it fall to? Chance there, Morfitas. Excellent build up from St. George. Now giving away the foul as they tried to press up to win that ball as it came out. But good play from Wally Savo's men there. Getting Nazruddin forward. Mentioned real outlet for them coming forward down that left hand side. Chance almost fell there to Morfitas. Didn't quite connect with his strike in the end it was Jiong just giving away the foul in midfield Nazruddin showing his want to get forward is that a good start to the match he battled that one against Davidson as I mentioned Wanderers certainly feeling that they can expose Nazruddin in the air here he is giving the ball away Davidson combining with Chianese. Davidson now, two players on him, can't get past Twinaboa. Now more feeders, good feet from him. Out through Pat O'Shea. Player who has spent some time in the New South Wales National Premier League. Men's one competition. Last couple of years with the Sharks. Down here to Sharoda. A lot of space. Now Pivato. Coming forward is Schmidt. Davidson instead goes to the far post. Costa comes a long way. Does well. Contingent of travelling St. George supporters on that far side. If you are enjoying the coverage, if you couldn't get out here to Lilies. Even battle so far. Ty Smith looking inside for Chianese. Couldn't quite connect there. As I mentioned, forced out to that left-hand side. Ty Smith due to the injury to Juan Carlos Romero. Ty Smith normally in that nine role, but showing his adaptability. It's moved out to that left-hand side with Chianese coming in in the nine role. Good work from Schmidt, high on the right-hand side. Looking for the cross, Erkin away. Certainly for Wally Savo and St. George. They'll probably feel that they've conceded a few too many in recent weeks.
Have to do a bit of defending here. It's out on the left-hand side. The block comes from Kiriaku on Smith. Now Kiriaku away. It's gone out for a corner though, so it is an opportunity for the Wanderers to set up again. Seen a couple of inventive corners from them. Pivato's gone across again. Romero dropping short. Certainly creates a couple of options. Chinese is in there. So is Mijic just come forward. Play on's the call here. Mijic with the initial header. Go quickly here through Sharoda to Schmidt. Across to the back post, over the top of Smith. And now it falls to Brichetto. Central defender, teeing it up now to Pivato. Now Brichetto with the attempted cross. Play on the call here. Akil with a chance to switch it out to Nazradin. Driving forward again. The diminutive left back. Combining here with Ramiro. Inside. The run coming forward from Morfidis. Turns inside. Jordan Morfidis. Now he tees it up looking for Romero. Instead it goes out to the right-hand side for Jong. Good play again from St. George in transition there. Didn't quite hit the target. In fact, it was a block in the end. There's another corner here. End-to-end -end action. Hope you are enjoying it on the NPL New South Wales Facebook page or on Facebook. Sure to share the stream around. Leave a comment below. Twinaboa here. Goes near post this time. Chance here for a kill. Now falls to Jiong. Can't keep it down. But again, St. George looking dangerous. Really end-to-end -end game here. Terrific spectacle so far. 34 minutes in. No score yet. Haven't had too many goalless draws across the New South Wales National Premier League two grand finals in recent years. Last year, remember, Marconi winning that five goals to one against Mount Druitt Town Rangers. Season before that, Sydney FC 4-1 over the West Sydney Wanderers. We haven't got a goal yet, though. Ty Smith's trying to do something here for the Wanderers. Couldn't quite keep it in. Haven't had too many teams dominating this New South Wales National Premier League 2 competition. We've had... Different winners in, of the grand final across the last five years. St. George going back to 2013. Mentioned that game last time they played in a grand final. These two finished 3-1 to St. George over the Mounties. Wanderers, not many survivors for, from either side from that day. Certainly Jake Ingle for the Mounties. Wanderers was a part of things back then he's Pivato though driving forward trying to find a bit of space Tariqa can does really well there important challenge just on the edge of the box now Ingle back to Mich finds Romero and tries to clip it over the top for Pivato a challenge coming there from Erkin free kick against Raul Benay Romero If he's tackled that one. Romero wanting it quick there. Ivato taking his time. Chinese is in there. Brichetto's come forward along with Mijic. Ty Smith's also in there. Into the wind. Costa organising his wall. Here's Pivato. Pivato dinks it inside. Ty Smith with the initial contact. Gets a second chance. Now goes out to Romero. Trying to keep his composure here. Nazaruddin's the player for St. George. Only as far as Pivato. 
Now Sharota's pressed. St. George want to go quickly here. One touch play here from St. George. Jong trying to get it out to Akil, but Schmidt coming out. Wins it again, and now he gets it out to Pivato. Schmidt makes his run. Can't get it back to him. Pivato there. Both teams battling for possession here. It is Mounties Wanderers. Can't quite keep it though. Davidson's slightly overhitting that one to that contest in the midfield. Warm conditions here. Late afternoon kickoff. Temperature still fairly high at kickoff. Nazaruddin combining here with Jason Romero. Mexican-American has made that impression, certainly has an eye for goal. Scored. 10 since he's joined St. George. Nine in the last nine games. So he comes into it with some great goal-scoring form. Got both goals last week. Ball out on the right-hand side here. Morabito gets it to Romero! And there he is, Jason Romero, making it 10 in 10. The opening goal for St. George. He's just spoken about his eye for goal. And what a quality piece of finishing that was. Morabito getting the cross to the near post. And Jason Romero getting to it ahead of the central defender. 11 for the season. Scored both last week. In that grand final qualifier win against uh, the Northern Tigers. They needed penalties on that occasion, St. George. They've got off to the perfect start here. And Jason Romero. He's his 11th and he's only playing his 13th game here for St. George. So it's a terrific record. Certainly been the team on the front foot. Asking most of the questions. Mounties Wonder has certainly been in it though. Now Smith. Can they hit back quickly? Sharoda inside looking for Pavato. Erkin though, read it well. Great chance coming from those St. George fans. I do have some inside info on that. Hassan Akil. Did some coaching during the season. Thanks to your Tigers. Premier League took them all the way to a title win. Some of those players have come up and supported him and the St. George team. He's Pavado though. Trying to get the Mounties Wanderers back in it here. Ty Smith. At the moment, he's the player on the receiving end of some of the jeers from those fans. Creating a great atmosphere here at Lily's. Singing for Jason Romero. Here he is. What a start he's had to this game. Really enjoying himself. Mention that eye for goal. Just driving to that near post on that occasion. Getting ahead of the central defender. And Wally Savo, as I said, certainly feeling that they could get at this 
back four for Mounties Wanderers, and that's certainly been the case so far. They have tried to go very quick, get it forward to those wide players. Morabito's made a terrific start. Here he is switching over to the left-hand side, just swapping with Morfidas. Morfidas has gone over to the right. Morabito's the target here. Slightly overhit there. Plenty of quality still to come for St. George in those wide areas off the bench. Certainly got some depth there. The likes of Matthias Da Silva on the bench. And with Alex Lakoski, who's been scoring goals lately as well. At the moment, trying to extend their lead. Romero combining well with Giong. Now he's got a keel over to the right-hand side. Further on is Morfitas, just slightly overhit there. Morfitas has to retrieve. Good opening again from St. George. Morfitas driving at Sharoda. Now the cross. Couldn't connect. St. George looking very dangerous. Playing with lots of confidence. Certainly saw that earlier in the season. One of the earlier rounds of the FFA Cup qualifiers. They almost created a sensation by pushing Apia Leichhardt Tigers. We've seen the damage that Apia Leichhardt have done in the FFA Cup. But this side, St. George, went so close to knocking them out. They had the lead. It's 2-2 late on. They hit the post at one end in the dying stages. And Apia went down the other end. Sasuke Sakia sealing the win. But uh, St. George really made people sit up and take notice on that occasion. And they're doing a great job early on in the grand final here. Schmidt trying to hold them up. Romero trying to get a bit of control of this game. Tempo of St. George really not allowing the Wanderers to build their tempo passing game. He's Pivato. He's got Smith peeling off to the left. Smith against Kiriaku. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. Could battle this. Kiriaku does well. Stands up. Half is fizzed by in the 44th minute here at Lilies. It is St. George leading this by one goal to nil. Do hope you are enjoying the New South Wales National Premier League men's two grand final. Tony Tanus here. An opportunity now for Mounties Wanderers. Meachers. Got his head to a couple of these set pieces. They certainly feel they can expose St. George in the air. Pavato looking inside for Mijic. And now the chance for Brichetto. Turns. A couple of good moments for Mounties at these set pieces. Certainly something tactically that Terry Palapanis feels they can get some joy. And it's another set piece here. Brichetto fouled. Pavato. Delivered some beauties already. Meech has stayed forward along with Bruschetto. Ty Smith's in there, along with Davidson. Lots of height. Chianese on the edge of the box. We're into stoppage time here at Lilies. Can Mounties Wanderers get one back and equalise? Pivato goes inside. Away by St. George. And now... Twenaboa with a second chance to clear. Gets it down to Romero. Can St. George mount a transition in stoppage time? Romero ducks inside. Now he looks to go to the right-hand side. He kills the target. He's had a very strong start to the game. Excellent first half. Tried to take his player on there. And that's the end of the first half. A pulsating game here in... Lilies, this New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 Grand Final. And it's at the break. St. George, who've had the ascendancy in the main. Jason Romero, their leading scorer. Scoring his 11th for the season. To give them a 1-0 lead at the break.
We'll have a short break and we'll be back for the second half of the New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 Grand Final.
Now to welcome back here to Lily's Stadium for this New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 Grand Final between the St George FC and the Mounties Wanderers. If you've just joined us at the halftime break, it is St George FC who take a 1-0 lead into the second half. The goal coming from their number nine, their striker, Jason Romero. Let's see what Terry Palapanis, the storyline coming in. Moved across from St. George after round seven to the Mounties Wanderers. Let's see what he's addressed at the halftime break and if the Mounties can get their attack flowing. It's certainly been St. George driving forward with the wind in that first half behind them. It's just calmed down the breeze a little bit for the start of this second half. Mounties in the black and yellow strip, their away strip. They'll be riding from the right to left. St. George with the lead. 45 minutes away from their first NPL. Two title since they won the 2013 grand final. And we're underway here for the second half. St. George with the early possession. Twenaboa pressed by Chianese. And now Romero inside to Akil. Has Akil trying to get it back to Romero. Does it fall to Morfidis? The battle with Bruschetto. And now Romero certainly needs to take control of proceedings in this second half. Spanish import. Good work from Kiriakou stepping forward. And now Hasakil looking inside. Miich away. Ty Smith. Back again to Miich. Goes long. Tracked well by Erkin. Skipper for St. George. Couple of key interventions in that first half. Let's see what adjustments Palapanis has made tactically. Romero at the moment, flowing with confidence. Ten goals in ten weeks. The opener in the grand final certainly gives St. George. The confidence to come out this second period, keep playing their football. Twenaboa does hit Romero. Now the run forward. Morabito was the player trying to get on the end of it. Good work though, Schmidt coming away. Now Davidson, really need him to lift the Mounties Wanderers. Couldn't find his pass on that occasion. Needing more from. Some of their key influences, including this guy, Ty Smith, and this man, Raul Benay Romero. Here he is, combining with Pavato. Couldn't quite connect on that occasion. St. George can knock it all the way back to Costa. Experienced player. Pulled off a special save early on to deny Andre Schroeder. Here he is, Schroeder. And again... Playing in that sixth roll. This time he's giving it away. Morfidis it is. Driving past him now and getting it to Romero. Couldn't quite get it under control. And Ingle working back. The speed of a kill. Such a player of experience really influencing in that 10 roll. Romero starting to get some touches now. O'Shea settling it for St. George and then Kiriaku couldn't find his target. Taking it all the way back. The flag did go up there. Assistant referee Jun Park. Looks like indiscretion there from the keeper. Carey's might have stepped out of his box and gone all the way back. It looks like Griffiths Jones going to have a chat to his assistant, Jim Park. Let's see what the result of this is.
St. George setting up on the edge of the box. He's going to give a free kick here to St. George. That is what we've got here. Kerry setting up his wall for the Mounties. Romero fancying his chances here. Confidence flowing. Wanting to take ownership of this set piece. Jason Romero stepping forward, keeps it low. In the end, deflected just wide of Kerry's goal. St. George almost extending the lead there. Getting another set piece here. Really trying to pray on the arrival of Luke Carey's the familiarity or lack of with the Mounties defence. Here they are clearing. Pivato on the edge of the box tries to knock it further forward. Kiriaku plays it forward. O'Shea with the flick on. And now Erkin gets it to O'Shea. O'Shea with a chance to shoot. Scuffs his shot. Player who can certainly hit them from range. He's got three for the season. Smith inside to Romero. Again, Erkin stepping out, doing a great job in defence. And now Romero at the other end. Jason dispossessed by Brichetto. Play on's the call here. Pivato, the battle against Giong. Been a fierce contest in that midfield. Giong's work rate. Very strong alongside O'Shea for St. George. Likes of Romero. Sheroda and Pivato not quite able to really build their combinations that they've really been such a hallmark of the Mounties Wanderers template in the last couple of months. Layoff there from Chernese. And now the chance to switch it out through Romero. Ingles further forward down the left-hand side. Can he provide... The cross here, Ingle driving at Kiriaku. Standing up strong there, the right back. Jake Ingle did provide the assist for Pivato, the winning goal last week. Did get forward down that left hand side in the second half. Short one here to Romero. Romero onto the left foot, driving at the byline, now looking for the cross. Sharota gets it forward to Mitch. John gets a toe to it. Now Jason Romero holding it up. Run comes forward from Nazradin. Davidson. Touch letting him down there. Player who moved across. Davidson along with Mirch from Parramatta Melita. Playing in MPL 1 to the Mounties. He's Morabito at the other end. Falls here to Hasakil. Hasakil on the left foot there. Just get it, get it on target. You see the quick feet there right on the edge of the box. And the player playing in the number 10 role. Player who has represented Lebanon in the under 23s. The Olympic qualifiers mentioned earlier, part of that double winning Sydney Olympic side back in 2011. Really experienced player. Spent a lot of time in the top flight. One point. The golden boot in NPL 2 for Fraser Park. So certainly his experience.
Proving critical here. Sharoda. Trying to get... Mounties Wonder is flowing. Now they get it to Pivato. Stepping out there, Twenabawa. Too aggressive that foul there on Pivato. And it's a yellow card, the first of the match. Goes to Lennox, Twenabawa. Experienced central defender for St. George. Been very strong so far. Now he's got to play with the yellow card. He joined St. George, Twenabawa win. They went up to NPL 1 back in 2014. They were only there for a season. Got a bit of defending to do here against this set piece. Again, it's Mijic, Pivato. He's been taking all the set pieces. Play with a futsal background. Can he deliver with his right foot here to the back post? There was Ty Smith still in play here with Chateau. Good battle this. St. George come away with it through Morabito. Morfidis looking to play quickly. Morabito still going here. Jason Romero inside. Important intervention there. Schmidt it was. And now Ty Smith's away. Down the other end. Ty Smith looking inside. The run from Davidson. They weren't quite on the same wavelength there. Davidson wanted to drop to the edge of the box. Smith wanted it inside. Now it's starting to heat up on that far side. Challenge this time from Pivato. We've just seen Twinabawa go into the book. It looks like Bruno Pivato is about to join him. At 10 minutes of this second half, and it really is starting to bubble away nicely, this one. Pivato. Going into the book alongside the next Twenabawa. Couple of good moments for Mounties Wonder at the start of this second half. Not quite able to execute though in that final third at the moment. Here's the combination, O'Shea with Morfidis. Morfidis inside, and there's Morabito in the end. Here he's just doing enough. Morabito was sniffing around, waiting for that loose ball. Excellent, incisive run there. O'Shea and Morfidis, the combination. Morfidis was in. They're really looking dangerous, St. George, in those wide areas. Real key part of this game plan today. Has been a strong area for them all season. Certainly Terry Palapanis, when he did set St. George up as the coach for a couple of years, that was a real key part of his game plan to get it wide to those skillful wide players. One of them here in Morabito. Certainly Wally Savo since he came in. No major revolution. Stuck with the formula, getting it out to those wide players. Trying to stretch the play and switch it out from side to side. At the moment, really asking questions of the likes of Schmidt and Ingle. Kiriaku. Looking for Morfitas. The feet's up there. And it is a penalty. A penalty's been awarded there. Morfitas got his body in front. And Bruschetto with the challenge. High feet there against Morfitas. And it's a penalty that's been awarded to St. George. Morfitas has stayed down. Been building pressure the last couple of moments. And now they've got a penalty. And it will be Jason Romero, the penalty taker for St. George. And Morfidis at the moment has stayed down.
What a moment this is. St. George with a chance to build their lead. Morfides just getting back on his feet. And Romero, Jason Romero. Stepping up to take this one. 11 for the season so far. Joined at the midway point. Can he give St. George a 2 0 lead here in the NPL 2 grand final? Romero versus Luke Careys. Referee not quite ready. On the hour mark here at Lilly's. NPL 2 grand final, Romero versus Carries. And Romero is given St. George a 2 0 lead here. Steps up from the spot, sends the keeper the wrong way, scores his 12th of the season. And St. George built on their first half lead. We've spoken about them delivering goals to at a minimum in their last 14 games and they've delivered two again here in the grand final. And what a job Mounties Wanderers have ahead of them here. One hour in. Now the confidence. Shadow almost hitting, overhitting that ball. Back to Kerry's. He's Ty Smith. It's been a remarkable job from the Wanderers to get through to the grand final. As we said, they've been playing grand finals all the way back. The last five weeks, at five wins in a row to get here. It's given them lots of confidence. But St. George, see their quality really testing the Mounties defence. And they've got to stay composed here, Mounties. On that occasion, Sharoda, the challenge there on Morfidis. In fact, it was Morabito. Referee just giving a free kick there. Can't lose their composure here, the Mounties. Been some very consistent performances from them over the last few years. In fact, they've made the, pot, the finals three of the past five years, 2014, 2016, and 2018. Trying to stay in the game here. Kerry's comes out, overhit that time from Kiriaku. It was his ball that led to that penalty for the second goal. Tucked away by Jason Romero. Here's Chianese. Inside to Ingle. First time ball inside. Lays it off. Now Romero driving forward. Raul. Now Chianese takes over. Couldn't quite get the power on that. The test Costa has built it. No one coming in. Better moment though. Romero involved there getting into the box. They need more of that. Mounties. Smith's the target here. Player who also had to pass a late fitness test to make it into the starting 11 for the grand final. Chianese can't keep that cross down. Bit too much on that from Schmidt. You've just joined us. Goals in the 39th minute and the 60th minute to Jason Romero. See St. George leading this. New South Wales NPL 2 grand final. By two goals to nil, we're about to see the first substitution for Mounties Wanderers. I mentioned that fitness test for Ty Smith. He's the first player release, replaced for, by Terry Palapanis. 63 minutes for Ty Smith. He's the first change for them. 
Michael Klamowski is the player who's come on in that left-sided role. Here he is getting his first touch. And now back to Sharoda. Sharoda looking inside. Cut out by Jiong. He's been very strong in that midfield. Kill. Challenge coming from Bruschetto there. <laughs> Numbers very th thin for Mounties Wanderers. Palapanis having to draft in a couple of youngsters onto the bench for the grand final today, such as the injury toll that they've had to face. Seventeen year old Michael Jeffrey drafted in today along with 19 year old as Josh Vieira as well so some youngsters Schmidt coming forward can the Mounties pull one back still 25 minutes of play remaining here at Lilies. still time for Mounties wonders if they can get one back, really make a game of this. Had a good start to the second half, but St. George really took ascendancy before that second goal. George had the first week of the finals off and then last week it was a extra time and penalty shootout. So if Mounties are able to get themselves back in it, take it to extra time. St. George having that extra minutes last week. The moment though, they're on the front foot, confidence flowing. Vato with a bit of space though here. A Shea working back. Strong work by him. And Ian giving away a foul. And he's looking to play on quickly. Ingle getting it inside. Irking away. For once more, Fetus' touch lets him down. Fourth year back in the MPL 2 for St. George. Mentioned that 2013 Premiership. They ended up getting promoted to the top flight, but straight back down. It's been a four years of consolidation, really, from them. Here they are trying to keep Davidson out. Nazra Dean getting it forward. Finishing second the last two seasons, St. George. Last year they didn't progress to the grand final. This year they've been able to get there. Be a great reward for the work that's gone in over the last few years. Terry Palapanis, of course, a big part of that was at the club for seven years. Initially as a technical director in a football director role eventually took over in 2016 coaching role started to see that work come through last year started this year one six of the first seven games before moving on and Wally Savo's come in really taken on that work Kept the core of the squad, even though he did lose Juan Carlos Romero and Raul Benoit Romero. 
along with that man, Pivato. Still kept the core of the squad. We were able to get Jason Romero in. Great story, that one. Through a contact of Hussein Akil's. So Hussein Akil really felt they needed someone in that front third. And through an agent, they were able to find Jason Romero. And he's really helped St. George kick on in the second half of the year. Mounties wonder as though trying to get back into the game. And it is a penalty that's been awarded there. Davidson's the player that's been fouled. And a yellow card's been given there. Is that Jiong, the player that's been booked? And it's a lifeline here for the Mounties Wanderers. The free kick taken by this man, Raul Bene Romero. Player who started the season at St. George. Can he get the Mounties Wanderers back in the grand final against his old club? Seen a penalty at the other end. Scored by one Romero. Here's Raul Romero tucking it away past Costa. And the Mounties Wanderers are back in this one. Scores his fourth for the Mounties Wanderers. Does Romero, after scoring seven for St. George in the opening seven rounds, playing in a deeper role here for Terry Palapanis at Mounties, for stepping up from the penalty. And Mounties are back in this one. Game one here at Lilies. It is St. George still leading by two goals to one. 20 minutes remain here. Still plenty of time in this one. Certainly cool down here. Players starting to relish it. Forward to Pivato. And now away by Kiriaku. Again, it's Romero. Great first touch there. And turning away. Beautiful balance. And then finds his target in Pivato. Facing forward, he's got Romero available. Instead he goes further on to Klamowski. Inside, back post there was Davidson. And suddenly, Mounties Wanderers have come alive. Here's Mitchell Davidson. Now Pivato, just over the bar. Player who scored last week. Scored two in the past five weeks. Couldn't quite get that one under the crossbar. And suddenly, Mounties Wanderers have come alive. And we've got a game for you here. The grand final of the New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2. Tony Tanus here. Hope you are enjoying this one. Wally Savile's gone to his bench here. About to see the first change for St. George. It is the end of the night for Jordan Morfidis. And it will be another wide player, another diminutive wide player in Mateus Da Silva. So a like for like change here from Wally Savo. Some fresh legs. Player who spent some time at Blacktown Spartans. Come across to St. George. About to get his first touch here. Here it is. Looks inside for O'Shea. Instead, it's Raul Romero. Beautiful first touch again. Starting to get involved and really influencing this game now. The flick on comes forward. As I mentioned, Raul Romero. Keep an eye on him. Player that's been mooted to be moving up to the top flight. Starting to really ask some questions of St. George here. Been able to do a really effective job keeping him out of the game. But increasingly that midfield for the Mounties. Starting to get on the ball. Klamovsky's injected 
Something down this left hand side too. Excellent switch from Mitch. Out to Davidson. Wants to go onto his left foot. Instead he uses the ball line. Now onto his left foot. Davidson inside. And there's the equalizer. Mount his Wanderers through Noah Chianese. Excellent work from Davidson. We've asked for more from him. And Chianese's come in with the header. And we're level here. What an epic grand final we've got. Mounties Wanderers make it 2-2 here at Lilies. Davidson going to work after an excellent switch from Mitch. And Chianese drifting in from the far post. Getting his start tonight. Scores his third goal in six weeks. There's no Noah Chianese. And we're level here. Just as St. George looked like they were running away with it. Mounties Wanderers have mounted a comeback of sorts. What have St. George got in response? Now it's with O'Shea, working back though, Romero. Great battle that's been right throughout the night. 15 minutes remain here at Lilies. Mentioned St. George. Three, two, two draws in the last four weeks. And here we are again, 15 minutes to go, and they're 2-2. Two, two. Twenabal goes near post. Kerry's comes and punches. Back to Twenabawa. Looks to the back post. Who does it fall to? Tariq Erkin. Now the shot's on. Kerry scampers across his line. And now coming in at the back post, Romero. Important touch there, Chianese. Excellent action. Thrill a minute here at Lilies. Hasn't this game opened up? Just as Mounties hit. Form at the other end. Now they've got some defending to do. Again, it's Carey's. This time he holds on. By who did spend some time over at PSV Eindhoven. Bivato, one on one here against Matthias da Silva. I want to go quickly here, Mounties, building some momentum. I want to stay on the front foot. Davidson will have a lot of confidence after that bit of play to set up the equaliser. He's over on that far side, ducks inside, leaves it open for Schmidt. Can't get it past Twenabawa. Now Jiong. Looking to go, isolating Romero against Bruschetto there. Bruschetto doing enough. Raul, Bene Romero here, dictating the play now. Seen him really lift in the second half. Shut down in the first period, just like last week. So influential in the second period against Mount Druitt Town Rangers. Here's Davidson. Driving forward, as I mentioned, the confidence now. Getting the ball down. Taking Nazruddin on. Drawing the foul. And we mentioned that tactical play from Terry Palapanis, really targeting St. George. He feels they're vulnerable in the air. He would know. Scoring via Chianese. Winning a penalty initially. From a set piece, then the cross, the headed goal, and here, another set piece. This time it's Romero who takes it inside. Goes out to the back post now. Going to work here is Michael Klamowski. Sharoda provides an option. Goes past Morabito, and now tries to take on Kiriaku. 
Irkin away. Falls as far as Chianese. Can't get his shot on target there. Certainly worth a try. Confidence flowing after hitting the back of the net. Silva to turn there. Silva holding it up though, winning a free kick. Almost into the final 10 minutes here at Lilies. What a grand final, final it has been. Hope you have enjoyed. Showing you the quality. Seen it right across NPL 1 throughout the season. But this has been a great contest across NPL 2. Apart from Mount Druid, it was very tight beyond them during the season. You saw that in the battle for positions in the build-up to the finals. Mounty sneaking in on the final day with a 4-1 win over Blacktown Spartans. Chianese was on the score sheet that night. A belief that they've been able to build in the back half of the year. Despite being 2 0 down, they fought their way back into it. And here they are, looking to extend the lead. We've seen that right throughout grand finals across the New South Wales National Premier League. The women's final, it was MacArthur Rams who had a 2 0 lead. Sydney Uni worked their way back into it, took a 3 2 lead there. A similar epic brewing here. Ingle. Is that a foul from Akil? Was according to the referee. So another set piece here. They're building up. Pressure mounting on this St. George defence. Pivato's back on set piece duty here. Romero's gone inside. He's in an offside position at the moment. Mijic is at the back post along with Davidson. Pivato, that's where he goes. A chance here. Straight at Costa. Mijic it was again. Experienced player. Spent some time in the top flight. As I mentioned, moved across from Parramatta. FC when they were in the top flight. Certainly proving a threat at set pieces. Romero really taking control of this second half. Happy to play back. Patience here from Mounties Wanderers. Shedo, strong on Jason Romero there. Now the hold up play. Pivato driving forward. Flag goes up. Pivato volleying wide anyway, but just drifted into that offside position. It was strong hold up play there from Chianese. About to see another change here. It's the end of the night for Hasakil. Very productive evening from the experienced St. George player. He'll make way here. So it'll be a like-for-like -like swap here with Nicholas Paris. The number 10 coming into that number 10 role. Working behind Jason Romero. Here's Paris trying to get his first involvement. Mijic 
Doing well. Now Nazruddin. Inside is Jong. Foul comes from Chianese. St. George haven't had too many set pieces of their own. They've been defending a lot. They've got one here. Haven't sent too many forward. Here they come now. Jong, Erkin at the back post. Erkin makes the move. Here it comes. Trying to catch Kerry's out. Almost got himself caught under that one. Mitch. Again, it's the switch out to Davidson. Resulted in that second goal this time. Davidson can't quite get it under control. Romero makes the move up front. Jason Romero now. One-on-one -on -one against Brichetto. Takes him on. Gets into the box. Jason Romero. Can he find his target? Kerry's cuts it out at the new post. Davidson getting a little bit more room. Staying on side, Chianese. Keeper comes out. Costa does well, reads it. Just had to check his run there. The striker for Mounties. And that gave Costa the chance to come off his line. And clear. So Wally Savile certainly looking for some influence from the two players he's injected. Mateus da Silva. Paris, the flick on though, they've got to do some defending here, now Morabito trying to get away, picking it up though, Ingle, and now De Silva does really well there, wins a free kick, draws the foul there from Schmidt and it is to be a yellow card, Looks like the Silva's away there, and Anthony Schmidt, Another player to go into the book. Got to see the third change here for St. George. Morabito's day ends here, and it looks like it might be Alex Lakoski here. Player that's been in recent goal scoring form. So Alex Lakoski. Three goals in his last five games. Comes off the bench here. Usually plays in that number nine role. So let's see with Jason Romero still out there. What Wally Savo does. Looks like Romero's gone over to that left-hand side. Lakoski joined by Paris through the middle. He's Raul. Romero. Turning beautifully once again. What a player of balance and poise. Switching it out. Now Pivato couldn't quite get it under control. Tried to use the sole of the foot. The te technique we see from a lot of futsal players on that occasion. Just letting him down. But did well to recover and put the press on. Forcing St. George deep into their own half. So for St. George, Mateus da Silva's gone over to the right-hand side. Lakoski through the middle. And Jason Romero's gone over to the left-hand side in that number 11 role. So Wally Savo's played his cards. Certainly, as we mentioned, has some quality off the bench. And this is where, where he really needs them. He's got an injury to deal with here, it looks like. Chen Hui Jong. Who hasn't really stopped running all afternoon. Tyler's performance in that centre of midfield. But he's made his three substitutions here. Certainly hope that Jong can go on with it. Hasn't always been in the starting 11. It's a real test of his fitness. 
the substitutions being made. We tick closer to that 90 minute mark. Are we going to get a winner in normal time? Or are we going to be going into extra time? They restarted through Costa into the last minute of regulation time. Mateus da Silva, chance to run at Sharoda. Mateus da Silva, can he provide the cross here? Schmidt at the back post. Pressure coming from Jason Romero, forcing the clearance. St. George with a chance to mount a late bit of pressure here. Keep an eye on the board. How much time do we have? Alex Lakowski into the box here. No one coming in at that back post. Lakoski doing well there. Shook off his defender. You have to see the board go up, and we're going to have four minutes of additional time here at Lilies. Ingle. Mounties. It's been some comeback. Can they snatch the winner? Chianese. Costa comes out. Again, it's a good decision. Good read from him. Chianese going down there looking for a bit of a stretch. Another player who hasn't always featured full 90 minutes throughout the season. Starting to feel it. But showing his speed there. Forcing Costa off his line into a decision. Here's Miic. Falls to Sharoda. Now inside, Klamowski. Flag had gone up anyway. Touch had just let him down there. It was almost in on goal. The flag was up. Players starting to tire on both sides. Can we find a winner before? The need for extra time. Certainly St. George, I mentioned last week, going into extra time all the way to penalties. Did finish 2-2 on that occasion. Mounties have played. Do or die games the last five weeks. Had to win every week. Now Chianese. Pivato makes the run. Happy to hold it up. Wait for support. Sharoda gets it out to Davidson. Mitchell Davidson combining with Pivato. Growing an influence on the edge of the box here. Pivato! Across the keeper. Across the goal. Not a bad effort again. Scored from that sort of spot last week. Different type of goal though. Certainly as this match has worn on, as three midfielders, Schroeder, Bene Romero and Pivato have grown in influence, dominated for the opening hour, but in the last half hour, particularly Romero taking control of the game. Tomoski not able to keep it there. Erkin forced back. St. George just applying a bit of pressure here. Trying to force an error. And he's kept their composure.
Have St. George got one ch last chance left in them. Got a set piece here. Twinabar goes long. Looking for Lakoski. Falls to Pivato. Composure here from Raul Romero. Lomoski falls here to Pivato. Again, Pivato trying, his lo 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 trying it from long range there. Almost catching Costa out had he struck that sweeter. Kept it down. Probably wanted a bit more elevation there. Audacious effort there from Pivato. Here he is again. Now Chianese a chance to flick it on to Klamowski. Now Klamowski trying his luck. Couldn't get it on target. Certainly provided a bit of spark down that left-hand side. Mounties Wanderers starting to get their wide players. Davidson and Klamowski more heavily involved. Ping back for much of the opening hour. And that's the end of... Regulation time here in the New South Wales National Premier League Men's 2 Grand Final. It finishes 2-2 between St. George FC and the Mounties Wanderers. And we're going to go into 30 minutes of additional time here. Certainly looked like St. George had the ascendancy an hour in. Jason Romero with a brace. Giving them a 2-0 lead. But then a penalty 10 minutes later really turned the tide of the game. And two goals in the space of five minutes for the Mounties Wanderers. It was Raul Benet Romero from the, set, from the penalty spot. Narrowing the margin. And then it was Chianese. With a header at the back post after some excellent work from Davidson. Bringing us level at 2-2. And we're into extra time here.
And we're back into action here at Lily Stadium, the grand final of the men's two competition, New South Wales National Premier League. Tony Tanous here. If you have just joined us, it is extra time, 30 minutes. Mounties Wanderers mounting a great comeback in the second period to take it into extra time. And they kick us off at the start of this extra time period, running from left to right of screen. Getting it forward to Chianese. Now Pivato, growing an influence in this game. Out on that left-hand side now, Klamowski. Taking on Kiriaku. Good battle this. Klamowski gets it in. Mounties feeling they had the momentum, probably going into extra time. Oli Savos tried to wrestle the control for St. George. Clearing his bench, bringing on three fresh players in that front third. But it's Mounties who've started this first period of extra time on the front foot. Pivato. Davidson's in there. They go short. Romero. Lays it off to Sharoda. We've seen this in the first period. Sharoda. Deflected away for another corner. Trying that variation again. Saw that very early in the game. Sharoda getting a shot on target. Saved brilliantly by Costa. That occasion it took a deflection. But again, those three really influential. Pivato, Romero, really orchestrating things. Pivato to the back post. Mirch it is with the climb. And Costa had it covered there. Mirch has been a real threat at set pieces for Mounties Wanderers. As tactical pointers from Terry Pelopanis in the build-up to the game. That's certainly an area that they were looking to exploit. St. George in the air, they felt that they could get some change out of that. They certainly persevered with that right throughout the grand final. Mirch starting to get a bit of space. Davidson there with the climb on Nazaruddin. That was another real area they felt they could target. Davidson growing in confidence after setting up that equaliser for Mounties. Bruschetto's been beaten for pace here, but does well on the second effort, although he's holding his right hamstring. We'll certainly watch that one. The ball's in here. St. George, can they exploit that? Lakoski can't bring it under control. Falls here to Jiong. Tries his luck first time. Could have keep it down. But Bruschetto looks like he's really struggling with that right hamstring. Keep an eye on him, the central defender. Boy from the Blue Mountains. Gone down for a stretch here. Youngster who has spent some time at Sydney United. Also... Rockdale City. Gave away that penalty that gave Sydney United, uh, St. George, sorry, a 2 0 lead on the hour mark. He's gone down for a stretch here. Mounties have made that change. On the left-hand side with Klamowski coming in for Ty Smith. Still got a couple of options on the bench. Alfred Hess, Josh Vieira, and the youngster, the 17-year-old Michael Jeffrey. Players taking the opportunity to go down for a bit of a stretch. What a season it has been across the New South Wales National Premier League competitions. We saw the grand final last week, Sydney Olympic. Too strong in the day for Apia. What a contest it was between them throughout the season. Incredible competition in the New South Wales men's one. Sydney Olympic in action tomorrow. They go on to the national stage. They'll be taking on Perth SC, Perth Soccer Club. One of the great historic clubs out of WA in their 70th season. So that one tomorrow, 3.30 at Lambert Park. Get down to Lambert Park if you can for that one. 
In the meantime, here, a great applause for the youngster, Dominic Crescetto. That's the end of his grand final. And Vieira, it is the play that's going to come on. So let's see if there's any tactical adjustment from Palapanis. Looks like Josh Vieira is going to come straight into that centre of defence. So the youngster, more noted as a mid, but certainly can play in those defensive roles. Sorry, it is Alfred Hess who has come on, the number four. So Hess, the defender, has come on. He'll be slotting alongside Mijic there. Player who has spent some time at Bankstown. Important role to play here for Alfred Hess. Got a bit of work to do defending this one. Fresh player, direct opponent, Alex Lakowski. Here is a set piece coming forward from Paris. And now the climb. Couldn't quite keep that one down. St. George. Paris on the left foot there. One of the fresh players. Back those two through the middle. Oli Savo certainly looking for them two to step up. Paris and Lakowski. What a contest it's been. St. George went all the way to penalties last week. Knocking out the Northern Tigers. Romero, touch of class, keeps it in play. And now Hess can come out through Mijic. His importance becomes more critical in this extra time without Rochetto. Hess. Schmidt gets it forward to Raul Romero. Shiroda to Vivato. Now on the left foot looking to get. Mani's going forward down that left hand side, but they give it up. And St. George have a chance to build. Paris looking to keep a bit of possession here. Through O'Shea. There's Radin looking for an option. Jason Romero. Paris now. Keeps his composure. Happy to keep the ball here, St. George. Just knock it around. Building it up down the right-hand side through Kuriaku. Paris again drops short. And that's where it goes. Looking for that ball in behind for Lakowski. Here he is. Lakowski with a chance to take on Mijic. Lakowski on the left foot. And in the end, here is it was. Scampering cross to his left. Not a bad effort at all from Alex Lakowski. Player that has the confidence of hitting the back of the net in recent weeks. I certainly need him to spark it up in extra time for St. George. Romero out to the right-hand side. Schmidt looking to the, for the switch to Klamowski over his head, though. Kiriaku. Player who stepped out of the uh, uh, St. George under-20s this season. It's been a real permanent fixture across this campaign. Has played across that defence centrally out on the right hand side to today for the suspended low. He was red carded back in round 26. Got a bit of defending to do here against Klamowski. Holds him up. Combines with Ingle. And now the one-two, Ingle getting forward. Chance to get the cross in. Can he find the target? Ingle inside for Chianese. What a chance that was for the Mounties. Chianese got to it ahead of the central defender and just couldn't tuck it inside that far post. 
Excellent counter-attack there. Ingle driving forward. The combination with Klamowski. Saw him create the assist last week for the winner against the Northern Tigers, Ingle. And almost produced it again. She and Aze with a good run to that near post. Just couldn't keep it inside the post. Here is Nazruddin. Twinaboa gets it forward. Akoski with the flick on. Now falls to Raul Romero. Find space, as he always does. Beautiful balance and use of space. Very rarely loses the ball. Saw him dish it up once in that first period. Was very disappointed with himself. Certainly, if he is to step up into the top flight, as the rumours have been circulating. I think he'll be a wonderful addition. One of the great imports across New South Wales National Premier League. Here's Pivato. Really lifted. Schmidt looking inside. Couldn't quite hit Chinese on that occasion. Mitch, Akoski, keeping his calm. Schroeder inside. Chinese gets it out to Davidson. Cuts inside. Left footer playing on the right. Inverted. He's Klamowski and Ingle again. Keeping their composure here, Mounties. Patient build-up. 12 minutes of the first period of extra time. Sharoda now looking to get Davidson in. Good first time ball inside for Pivato. Pivato against Twenaboa inside. Costa spills it. And now falls to Giannese. And there he is to tuck it away. on the right hand side from Davidson and Pivato and then the keeping error spilt it to the feet of Chianese and there he was to poach it away Chianese with four goals now in six games and what a time to really hit your straps for the Mounties Wanderers Players I mentioned who has spent some time at Marconi in the youth system coming through. And here he is stepping up on grand final day with a brace. Hasn't had minutes all the way through the season, but needed here for the big occasion with the injury to Juan Carlos Romero, one of the stars of NPL2 in New South Wales. And Chianese has come in and bagged himself a brace on grand final day. And it's the Mounties with one of the great comebacks. St. George looked home and hosed at 60 minutes in control. But the Mounties got one from a penalty and that's given them a huge lift. Romero is really taking control along with Bivato. Davidson's coming to the game since that 60 minute mark and so has Chianese holding a hemi at the moment that might be his last contribution Terry Pallipanis certainly warming up a third substitute it looks like here Chianese, if that is to be his last touch, what a touch it was. Has it given the Mounties Wanderers 
the championship. Still plenty of time to go, but it looks like it'll be a change here. The youngster, the 17-year-old Michael Jeffrey, will be coming on for Noah Chianese. And that is his last contribution. Is it to be a winning one? And what a moment this is for the youngster, Jeffrey. Going straight into that number nine role. Here he is making the run forward, trying to get on the end of a Sharota ball. Peeling out to that left-hand side, holding it up. The first contribution, although the ball's overhit. Foul there, really starting to dictate the tempo and overrunning across that midfield. St. George really needing to lift in that centre of the park. It's like we've seen a slight change there with Tariq Erkin stepping into that midfield for St. George. So the skipper just mentioned the need for a bit of freshness there. So we've seen a bit of a tactical adjustment from Wally Savo. Chen Wei Jiong's gone into the centre of defence and Tariq Erkin has stepped up into midfield. Big job ahead of them. Chancey for Davidson. Costa had to come, make it the decision. That occasion, handling was strong. And here's Erkin, the skipper. Can he help shift a bit of momentum back to St. George? By stepping into that midfield. Told you it would be a tight contest with goals, this one. That's exactly what's been delivered. Game has ebbed and flowed. St. George certainly dominating the opening hour. But since then, Mounties Wanderers through their creative midfield types. Romero, Pivato, Sharoda really taking control of this one. This man looked like he'd be the grand final hero. Still time to do some damage here, Jason Romero. Tick towards the end of the first period of extra time and he wins a free kick here to St. George. So a chance to get it forward. Twenna Boa goes forward. Jason Ramirez over this one. Might be the last action of the first period of extra time here at Lilies. Romero. Can he get it past Bivato? No, he can't. It's a clearance. And now Romero on the counter-attack. A chance here. Raul Romero stepping inside. Gets it back now. Raul Romero, can he keep his composure? Raul Romero. Still going. Romero. Denied by Costa. What a counter-attack that was. A real opportunity for Mounties. In stoppage time in the first period of extra time. I've seen a couple of injuries, particularly that injury to Noah Chianese and Bruschetta. Bruschetta early in that first period of extra time. So we certainly see a couple of minutes. Another chance here for Mounties. Looking to extend their lead now. Can you believe it? 2-0 down after 60, 3-2 up. And now looking to go for Domofsky fires over. Probably on his weaker foot there. The cross coming in from that right-hand side, going all the way across. And Domofsky certainly has made an impact on that left-hand side. St. George, we question whether they would tire that 120 minutes last week. Wally Savor going to his bench early. Still time here for St. George, a set piece. They're going to play on quickly or leave it here. Twenaboa comes over to take it. Jason Romero there. Two goal scorer. Available at the back post. That's where it goes. Looking inside for Lakoski. Spills it. The keeper. 
Still alive here. Lakowski. And now again, it was Paris. Play on's the call. Now Mateus de Silva. And they're scampering it away. Just managing to clear their lines. It goes away for a corner. St. George finishing the half strong here. Fans trying to bring them home. Ball goes in near post. Chance here. Davidson away. And now it's open at both ends. What a terrific contest this is. End to end action. It is the Mounties Wanderers at half time in extra time who lead this by three goals to two. The goal coming from Noah Chianese. He scored the equaliser to make it 2 2 in normal time. And then he was there to tuck away a loose ball, a real poacher's finish. And it is the Mounties Wanderers. Who head to this half time break in extra time with a three goals to two advantage. And we asked whether Terry Palapanis had some answers at the half time break. It certainly looked completely out of it. Took them a bit of time to get going. In fact, it took going behind by two goals really to get the Mounties clicking. Got themselves a penalty. And since then, they've really been the team that's been asking all the questions. We saw there on the counter-attack in that first period of extra time, it was Romero, who's been pulling the strings beautifully throughout this match. Hope you have enjoyed his performance. Hope you have enjoyed this game. Tony Tunus here, about to head into the final 15 minutes of the New South Wales NPL 2 season. How are we going to see more twists? The story that we built up about the history between these two squads. We have to get the second half of extra time underway once we can clear the last few kids off the pitch. And it's St. George. He'll be running to the scoreboard end. Have they got an answer? Seen an adjustment in that midfield with Tariq Erkin dropping in alongside O'Shea. Here's Ingle. Out to Klamowski. Now Sharoda goes past two in the midfield. Really the confidence flowing, looking fresh. He's Pivato, Pivato! Costa with the save, only as far as Davidson. Chance here for Mounties. And there it is at the back post. There was Jeffrey, the youngster, trying to keep that one down. Couldn't quite get it on target. And Costa forcing a great save there by Pivato. It was a terrific strike. Pavato scored one from a similar range last week to give the Mounties passage into the grand final. And him, this man here, Romero, haven't they really taken this game? There's Romero yeah. slipping a beautiful killer ball in behind. Oh, Jeffrey on that occasion oh. tries his shot there. Romero wanted a little bit of composure there. What a terrific ball that was. Quality from the Spanish import. Kept out of it for much of the first hour, but that was certainly the, the tactics and the game plan from St. George. But it's hard to keep a player of his quality quiet for a full game. We've seen him go, grow and grow throughout this contest. Kiriaku. St. George haven't been able to mount too much since their second. Mounties looking the fresher. And St. George 
Find a moment of quality. Looking to the back post. Ingle with the experience of those come out of that limping. So many tiring players. All the substitutions have been made. Both sides. Saw two from the Mounties in that first period of extra time. Pivato still full of legs, though. Kiriakou clears. Mijic has really been important for the Mounties. Hess with a bit of work to do here. Schmidt gets back to help. Happy to knock it back to Carey's. What a story that'll be. Dion Shaw, such an experienced goalkeeper. Could have been playing in his fourth grand final here. Fortunately, succumbing to a quad injury last week. Forced to limp off. People who came on last week. Jack Groneveld also not deemed fit enough. So they had to go to yeah. the option of an injury replacement. And it was Luke Carey's, the reserve keeper at the Wollongong Wolves, the past couple of seasons. Hasn't played much football at all. Behind Jace, Justin Passfield there at the Wolves. Coming in here, really pressured by St. George early. Might have a bit of work to do here. Davidson, though, working back to help. Looking for Jeffrey. Now it's fallen to Sheroda. To the fifth minute of the second period of extra time. It is the Mountie still with lots of run. Down the right-hand side. Into the near post. There was Klamowski. St. George taking the risk at the back. Forced to push men forward, leaving gaps at the back. Mounties trying to exploit in transition. Jeffrey, now Klamowski, goes past one. Twenabawa did well just to hold him up there. And now Erkin. Romero still full of run, applying the press pressure there. Mich. Been very strong as well. Mm. Rumours. Lots of them circulating around. It's almost a silly season, the off-season. Certainly linking Terry Palapanis to a potential move up the top flight. Shown here. With the team in Mounties Wanderers, even if they can't hold on to this win. Chance here, Romero! Couldn't quite keep that one down. The danger man, Jason Romero. Taking his player on there, Schmidt, on a yellow card. Certainly a good option there. Driving at him. Still time for St. George. Can they summon the mentality? Mentioned coming into this one. Had it won in the last four games. Obviously last week they did have a win in, on penalties, but it finished 2-2. Showed plenty of character in that one. Need to summon that in the last 10 minutes or so here. Been in front for so much of this game, now chasing. Psychology of that. Gonna test them. Here's Nazruddin. Gion gets it forward, looking for Da Silva. Tomoski forward. Pavato still full of run. Does well to muscle Gion off the ball. Romero, though, beaten to it. Schroeder, Schroeder He's Erkin. 
Good ball into the feet of O'Shea. And now it's Jason Romero trying to take Schmidt on here. Romero on the left foot. Carries does well. Didn't quite get that one. Romero, but suddenly St. George are coming to life. Good work from Erkin and O'Shea out of the midfield there to spring. Jason Romero on the left. Just couldn't get enough power on that shot. And Kerry's did well. Davidson doing well there for the Mounties just to ease a bit of that pressure. Win a free kick. They better take their time on this one. And as we tick into the last seven minutes here at Lilies. It is the Mounties Wanderers leading this by three goals to two. Trying to reverse that result from 2013 where it was St. George winning the grand final by three goals to one. Chatting to Dion Shaw, he was a part of the St. George squad back in that, those days. Part of the squad here, but certainly not playing on grand final day, but... So, Jeffrey there just being sprung into an offside position. Be careful there, kicking the ball away. The youngster. Six minutes for St. George. A storied and historic club. Can they find an equaliser to take it into penalties? away there the youngster Jeffrey he's a St. George throw though can they fi find a moment of magic who's going to provide it Mikoski certainly been among the goals this man Paris driving forward Paris stepping out though was Hess now it's them two again Paris on the left foot inside chance what a goal that is Jason Romero with the equaliser what a way to score a hat trick in the grand final. And St. George draw level with five minutes to go here. What a classic this is. In the New South Wales National Premier League, two men's for grand final. Paris with a bit of composure. And Jason Romero with his 13th of the season to draw this level at 3-3. What an epic at Lilies. And who's going to go on and win this one? Strap yourselves in. This has been an amazing evening in the New South Wales National Premier League. Players out on their feet for both sides. But Romero, we spoke about his eye for goal. He's been put out on that left-hand side. But popping up in the middle there and keeping his composure with a quality cushioned header past the outstretched Luke Carey's there. And what a classic. Don't you just love the New South Wales National Premier League? Twists and turns, we always promise you that and it always delivers. Quality throughout. We've seen the Spaniard. Raul Romero take control at one end for the Mounties. But the Mexican-American, Jason Romero, delivering a hat-trick in the grand final. And we're tied level at 3-3 with three minutes to go. Tariq Gherkin on his last legs, the skipper for St. George. Can he carry on? 
just waiting for the fourth official, Tim Danaskos, to get him back on, and he's come back on. And have we got one last twist? What about that save from Costa with the Mounties? 3-2 up to deny Pivato. Does he have a bit more work to do here? Mounties, we've spoken about their tactical solution. Really feeling that they can hurt St. George at the set piece in the air. Can they find one here through Pivato, who's been so good for them? Can't get a pass Lakowski on that occasion. Important intervention from the St. George attacker. St. George needing penalties last week to get here. Are we going to go there again? Here's the youngster, Jeffrey. Can't get it past the silver. He's the hero for St. George. Jason Romero. Looking to thread it through for Lakowski. Meech does well. And now Klamowski. Lakowski working back, giving away a free kick there. So it is another set piece here. It's just over a minute to go. Ingle. Forward down the left-hand side. Manny's take it quick. Kiriaku coming across. Shirota still full of running. Player who, as I mentioned earlier, spent much of his career in the number 10 role. Being converted, being used in that deeper role. Showing the maturity in his game, the development. Game time's given him in the New South Wales National Premier League too. Klamowski's touch lets him down on that occasion. As we tick towards the 30 minute mark of extra time. Chris Griffiths Jones just putting the two fingers up to indicate there'll be two minutes of additional time. We have seen a couple of injuries. Tariq Ekin certainly went down, limping his way through the game. The skipper took a penalty last week. Wonder with that injury, it looks like a groin. Two minutes, time added on. Two, Two minutes of stoppage time it is. St. George going forward through Paris, who provided the assist for the equaliser. Here he is about to take this corner. Between a bow without the legs there to go forward. Happy to stay back. Paris on the left foot. Can he deliver another peach here? St. George. They went behind. Worked their way back into it. Can they score the winner? Defending there from Mounties Wanderers. Now it's Mateus De Silva. He's got across to take this one. Another of the substitutes for Wally Sabal. In it comes. There's Tariq Erkin with the climb. Now it's away by Mounties. Sharoda. Can't get it past De Silva. Gets it back in. Carries though. Happy to gather it. How much more time do we have here? Mounties get it forward. Press comes on Costa, clears forward. Hess with a bit of pressure from behind. Lakowski coming. Got to be careful here, Lakowski. Just couldn't quite get that shot on. Excellent work though, pressing. The central defender. Now Romero. Can he find a moment of magic? Looking in for Klamowski. Finding his target there. Klamowski, one-on-one -on -one here against Kiriaku. Gets it back to Ingle with the first time cross. Twin a bower away. And Paris happy to knock it forward. And that's the end of a pulsating NPL 2 na uh, National Premier League Grand Final. What a contest here at Lilies. It ends 3-3 between... St. George and the Mounties Wanderers ebbs and flows both ways. St. George looked like they had it wrapped up at the hour mark. 
with a brace from Jason Romero. But the other Romero, Raul Benet Romero, got the Mounties Wanderers back in it from the penalty spot. Then it was Noah Cheyenneze who became the hero for the Mounties, equalising before the end of normal time. Then giving the Mounties a 3-2 lead and it looked like they were almost home and hosed, but St. George summoning the uh, most almighty comeback out on their feet. Jason Romero come up with the equalising goal. A hat-trick for him on grand final day. 13 for the season. The heads-up play from Nick Paris. And we're here at penalties to decide the 2018 National Premier League Men's 2 competition. Second place St. George against sixth place Mounties Wanderers. We promised a tight affair and that's exactly what's been delivered. Both teams producing an epic here. And it's going to be decided from the spot. We'll take a quick break here. Catch our breath. Back in a moment for the deciding penalty shootout. What a way to decide the 2018 men's NPL2 season. We've gone all the way to penalties at Lilies. 3-3 finished. Hope you have enjoyed a thrilling game. Tony Tanous here for Football New South Wales. Another epic grand final. We've seen them right across the New South Wales competition. And this one's going to go to penalties. We saw St. George last week make it through to the grand final with a penalty shootout win. And it will be Bruno Pavato stepping up first for the Mounties Wanderers. They'll be taking the first penalty. Costa produced a great save against Pavato in that second period of extra time when the Mounties were 3-2 up. Bivato first to go. Costa making him wait a little bit here. Bivato steps up and puts it away. The Mounties go 1-0 up in the shootout. And just like last week, it is to be the skipper, Tariq Erkin, to step up first for St. George. So four of the five penalty takers last week still on the field for St. George. The only one that's not is Hussein Akil, who was replaced 
But Tariq Erkin was the first penalty taker against Northern Tigers. Steps up at the ball here. Just about got himself through the full 120 minutes, nursing that injury. Can he put it away here? Erkin! And he's denied! Here he comes up with the save. The replacement keeper for the Mounties Wanderers. That injury to Dion Shaw and his carry is going to be the hero here. Been an incredible couple of seasons for the skipper Tariq Erkin. Our St George, unfortunately for him, Carries has come up with a big save in the shootout. Here is Sharoda. Andre Sharoda for Mounties Wanderers. Can he make it 2 0? Sharoda and denied by Costa. What a save that is. Denied him early in the game with a great save to his right and does it here in the shootout as well. So it is to be the hat-trick hero, Jason Romero. Put a penalty past Carey's during regulation time. Can he slot one past him here in the shootout? Romero puts it away and we're level here at Lilly's. 1-1 one, one, after two penalties each. The right back, Anthony Schmidt now. Anthony Schmidt. Costa's just come up with a big save. Costa came up with a massive save. And if Lennox Twenaboa can put this one away, St. George going to the lead. Lennox Twenaboa. Players come and gone from St. George. Experienced NPL player. And he takes it away, sends carries the wrong way. And now it's St. George behind early, back in the lead here. 2-1 it is to St. George, and it's Tom Meech, the central defender. So Meech, strong game from him. The central defender, can he put this one away? Just about does. Did that go over the line? Yes, it did. The Paninka from Mitch. And didn't he get a bit of fortune there? Hitting the crossbar. Bouncing just over the line there. And Mitch makes it 2 2. Can St. George stay in front here? Brilliantly taken from Paris. Brilliantly taken penalty. Emphatic. And it's 3-2 to St. George after four penalties each. And here is the Spanish import. Must score here. Raul Benet Romero. What a performance from him on grand final day. But needs to produce. Already done so from the penalty spot. Needs to produce it here. Romero! Keeps Mounties Wanderers in it.
So we're level at three all, but this is the fifth and final penalty. And it is Matthias da Silva, the player who put the last penalty away last week against the Northern Tigers. This is as big as it comes. The substitute carries, trying to make him wait and think about it. And Matthias da Silva with the destiny of the championship at his feet. Matthias da Silva gives St George the 2018 NPL2 men's championship from the penalty spot. Anthony Costa, the hero, from the penalty spot with some outrageous saves for St George. And just as they did back in 2013, it is St George who beat the Mounties Wanderers in a classic penalty shootout. What a contest we've seen here. What a game. St George... Looked home and hosed after the hour mark. Mounties mounting the most miraculous of comebacks, taking the lead, making it 3 2. St. George kept their composure. It was Jason Romero, the grand final hero, with a hat trick to give. St. George the opportunity to take the penalties. And they went behind early. Tariq and their skipper missing from the spot. But Anthony Costa coming up huge with sh saves against Sharoda and Schmidt. And for St. George, it was perfect from the rest of them. Jason Romero, Lennox Twinaboa. Nick Harris and Matthias de Silva and that was enough to give them the 2018 Men's NPL 2 Championship and what celebrations we've seen here. You have to feel for Mount uh, sorry, the Mount Mounties Wanderers, what a season it's been from Terry Palapanis and his, and his uh, players coming back. making it into the finals, really. And they they looked on for periods of this grand final, but mounting a terrific comeback and then taking it to penalties. And it was only the quality, really, of Anthony Costa in goals that denied them a terrific season from them. But St. George, they finished second on the table. And in the end, this... Historic club. I mentioned they go back all the way to 1957. One of the great clubs of the National Soccer League. They won an NSL championship back in 1983. They won three titles in the New South Wales Top Flight 1962, 1972, and 1976. And in the New South Wales second tier, this is now their second championship. Mentioned that 2013 3-1 win over the Mounties Wanderers. Club with a great history and tradition. And they get some further silverware. To crown the season. And what a celebration it is. St. George fans have made the trip out. I do hope you have enjoyed the coverage here. Taking these great scenes. Made the 
trip from St. George. It's been a great evening here at Lily Stadium. You have to feel for the Mounties Wanderers. It's been a great season from them. Spectators off the field, so we can commence presentation. We weren't expecting to be here on grand final day. Thank you. In many ways, Terry Palapanis has achieved a lot with this squad. And they can certainly keep their heads held high. That performance from the 60-minute mark from the likes of Romero, Sharota and Pavato really taking control of the game. A joy to watch, really. And it looked like they had it in the bag when they went 3-2 up. St. George. scenes here at Lily Stadium. Fans having to clear the deck here so we can get the presentation going. Tariq Erkin missing that penalty, the first one, the skipper. But he's going to be the player that holds this trophy aloft. He's going to throw Good down to the presenter, Will Botsis. I'd like to congratulate both teams on a fantastic game. Of course, they're going to be one winner tonight. Congratulations to the St. George FC boys. Of course, they were under the runners up for the Mounties Wanderers. I'd like to thank the following organisations for their ongoing support in football in New South Wales. TAFE New South Wales, Ultra Football, Puma, and the official ball of the NPL New South Wales men's competition, MITRE. Your support is invaluable and much appreciated, so to our sponsors, thank you once again. To all the supporters, thank you for your attendance today. And what was a fantastic game, we were certainly treated to some superb football from both sides, so well done and thank you for your attendance. Now on with the presentation. First of all, I hope you meet Football New South Wales. Representative Andrew Peachy to present the first award of the evening, and it's the Man of the Match Award. Winner of the Man of the Match Award is from the St George FC side, Jason Romero. Good on Jason. Thank you, Andrew, for presenting this prestigious award. Jason, would you like to say a few words? I just want to congratulate the boys. We worked hard all, all year. You guys went through a lot of things, of coaching changes and everything. But no matter what, we found a way to, to, to grind through, and here we are. Congrats. Well done. Congratulations, Jason. Now we turn our attention to acknowledging the referees who officiated in today's grand final. We might call upon the referee of today's feature, Mr. Chris Griffith Jones. Nick Paco, and fellow assistant Jun Park, and the official board today, Tim Danascos. Well done to all match officials and thank you to Andrew for presenting these medals. If I could now please have the captain of the Mounties Wanderers side, Thomas Alvinich, to make a short speech and introduce his players, coach and manager. First of all, congratulations to St. George. You've been the most consistent team all year, they deserve it. They've played good all year, so. <laughs> yeah, boys, from where we were about 12 weeks ago to where we are now, this is a massive accomplishment. We proved tonight that we are one of the best sides, of the best sides in the field too. So don't keep it, uh, please keep it high. <laughs> yeah, thank you to 
So I've got to start and do it on the cloud for me. on what Tommy said. It's a fantastic achievement from the Mounties boys this year. They came from mid-table to finish sixth. They knocked off last year's, oh sorry, this year's premiers last week in Mounties, uh, Mount Drill Town Rangers and went so close today. So you should be very proud. Went down in the penalty shootout. That's the way football is, but well done guys and great season. Thank 
Justin. Toby. Lennox. Ali.